Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. The Event Horizon movie thoughts. Now, I want to start with saying that the whole idea of a, a black hole allowing us to travel anywhere and then, you know, hell is discovered, that's not a bad idea. And this thing of, you know, the... Yeah, the, it's, it's, it's not quite original, it's not the only, actually it might be the only one where it's specifically hell, but the overall idea of, you know, a spaceship abandoned and such is the, yeah, and, and people have to prevent it from, you know, or escape from it and such. Now, the I don't know if, if we technically do see any of the liquid fire that Captain Miller describes, but certainly it looks a lot like real fire if if any of it is supposed to be in. I also quite like how he literally ends up being the human torch, just you know, moving while on fire, shooting fire and the whole thing. And, you know, suddenly the ship brings Weir back because it can do that now, you know. And the, you know, Cooper is brought, you know, returns to the event horizon in spite of being sent flying, you know, because Paul W. is Anderson. It even happens twice that, wow. And, you know, once Weir has gotten all you know, pinhead face, and there's there's literally a hand-to-hand -hand fight between Miller and and him in in a horror movie. That's wow, yeah, very very B movie. Now the 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 fact that the ship itself torments them in order to compel them to return to hell or maybe it wants an ally. You know, maybe it legitimately can't start it itself. It needs others to push its buttons. You know, it... Yeah, it's, it's not terrible, you know, explanation for this whole haunted house quality of the ship. Although I can't help but think that if, you know, if it just wanted to go back to hell, if it hadn't killed the original crew, it, it seems like it would have an easier time of traveling back and forth. And, you know, Weir says now it has a new crew. Well, you know, it's like three, four people left alive, part of a, a new crew, and... I guess the new crew is also just supposed to go back to hell. I'm not sure the, the, the hell dimension of pure chaos and pure evil has really thought this through. And I appreciate that this is a problem with other, you know, possession, supernatural kind of horror stories. And I do want to clarify, it is not the case of all horror. The thing very much has a... <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing does not have any such problems. Now, the... I, I do like the, the very final shot of the, you know, the door ominously closing, suggesting that maybe there's still some hell left 
in the you know the part of the event horizon that they were using as like a lifeboat. And the, the the captain of the original ship, of course, warns the you know warns via the transmission, warns in Latin, which is the genuine sign of a douche, which is of course, as we know, something straight from the bowels of hell. Now the I, I was a little uncertain why exactly the Event Horizon returned, you know, if it just wanted to go back to hell, should it have taken that left turn at Albuquerque? Does it have ADD? Is, is it really just, you know, going to go back and forth, grabbing one crew at a time, seven year gap at that? Is, is, you know, is this like the next generation of the, the ferryman over the river sticks, just taking just a few people at a time? It, it just, it seems an ineffectual way of, of dragging people to hell is, is all. I will say Samuel does a good job as both the concerned doctor and the possessed man, man, madman and the clash between him and Captain Miller, the, the, the discoveries of the event horizon versus the, the crew of the Lewis and Clark. Now, the, this was actually, I had forgotten about this. I haven't watched this in ages before watching it to review. This was, excuse me, this was back when Paul W. Sanderson genuinely had very few different ideas, and he would use several of the same ones in his movies. So this has the, the shot, the, the track, the shot that tracks from one part with some people and then all the way over to another part of, you know, in this it's a ship. He used it in one of the movies he made around this time and it, it was the overall the same shot. It was just, yeah. And there's the, you know, blocking a, a door which is shutting and you've got the you know a, a laser kind of thing being pointed directly at the camera and sort of scanning down yeah now I suppose that more or less covers it it is a bit I mean from what it starts out it's really too bad that it ends up it's just this, you know, slasher film in space. I think it's it's pretty it takes gall to so blatantly rip off Hellraiser with, with the pinhead face. And the 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 quote we have you know we have such sights to show you, I believe is the original. And in this, it's yeah, it's it's pretty much word for word. I think they yeah, and they even they put it in the trailers just to just to let you know, yes, we are ripping it off, and yes, we have absolutely no shame about that. It's yeah. Now, I suppose that pretty well covers it. Yes.
please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.